are you truly living in the moment or are you stuck in the past or future? This is the question that Eckhart Tolle's seminal book, The Power of Now, implores us to ask ourselves. The book serves as a guide, a beacon of light, illuminating a path that leads us away from the shadows of our past and the uncertainty of our future and into the radiance of the present moment. It's here, in the now, that Tolle suggests our real lives unfold, not in the memories of what was or the dreams of what might be but in the vibrant immediacy of the present. Why is being present so important you might wonder? Well consider this, every moment you spend lost in the past or anxious about the future is a moment of your life that slips away. The past is a ghost, the future a dream, both are illusions. The only tangible real experience is the moment you are in right now. When we become fully engaged with the present, we unlock a transformative power within ourselves. Our fears and anxieties begin to fade. We start to see the world with newfound clarity and depth. We become more patient, more understanding, and more compassionate. We start to live, not just exist. This is the power of now, as proposed by Toll. It's a power that resides within each of us, waiting to be discovered, embraced, and harnessed. It's a power that can change the course of our lives, steering us towards peace, joy, and fulfillment. But how do we tap into this power? How do we break free from the chains of past regrets and future anxieties? How do we anchor ourselves in the present and truly experience each moment as it unfolds? These are the questions that the power of now seeks to answer. It's a map, charting the terrain of the present moment, a compass guiding us towards a life lived fully and deeply right here, right now. So are you ready to embark on this journey? Are you ready to discover the transformative power of the present moment? Let's delve into the secrets of living in the moment as revealed by Eckhart Tolle. What if I told you that time is an illusion? Quite a provocative statement, isn't it? But let's dive into it, shall we? According to Eckhart Tolle, the author of The Power of Now, time is indeed a man-made construct, a product of human consciousness that has taken on a life of its own. So, what does this mean? In essence, we've created a linear concept of time, where events occur in a sequence of past, present, and future. We compartmentalize our experiences into these three categories, perpetually living in anticipation of future events or in the shadow of past ones. But here's the catch. This constant oscillation between past and future creates a state of perpetual mental unrest. We're either reliving past events, often with regret or nostalgia, or we're projecting ourselves into a future filled with hopes, fears, or anxieties. This preoccupation with past and future can lead to unnecessary suffering. It distracts us, pulling us away from the only real moment we have, which is the present. When we dwell on the past, we're often filled with regret, guilt, or resentment. We replay past events wishing we could change them, but they're already done, they're set in stone. Similarly, when we obsess over the future, we create anxiety. We worry about things that haven't happened yet and may never happen. But what if we could step out of this timeline? What if, instead of being prisoners of our past or hostages to our future, we could exist wholly and fully in the present moment? That's where Tolley's teachings come into play. By recognizing time as merely a construct, we can start to free ourselves from its constraints. We can learn to live in the present moment, to fully experience life as it unfolds right here, right now. This is not about disregarding the past or the future, but rather about not letting them dominate our consciousness and rob us of the joy and peace that the present moment can offer. By understanding this, we open the door to the power of the present moment. This is the first step towards embracing the power of now. The first step towards a more mindful, peaceful and fulfilling life. What does it mean to be truly present? In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives we often find ourselves rushing from one task to another, our minds filled with thoughts of the past or concerns about the future. Amidst this whirlwind, the concept of presence, as Eckhart Tolle teaches us, is about grounding ourselves in the here and the now, letting go of our mental chatter to truly experience life as it unfolds moment by moment. Imagine you're standing in a forest, you feel the cool breeze against your skin, hear the rustle of leaves, and smell the earthy scent of the woodland. In this moment, there is no yesterday, no tomorrow just the now. You're not thinking about the experience, you are the experience. This is what it means to be present. So what are the benefits of this kind of presence? Well for starters, presence brings peace. When we let go of our constant need to control, to plan, to worry, we open ourselves up to the tranquility of the present moment. 
We stop fighting against the current of life and start flowing with it. This is where we find peace. Next, presence brings joy. When we fully immerse ourselves in the now, we start to see the beauty in ordinary moments. A simple cup of tea, a child's laughter, the warmth of the sun on our skin, these become sources of profound happiness. Lastly, presence brings clarity. When we're not clouded by our thoughts and worries, we see things as they truly are. We're able to make decisions not based on fear or desire but on a clear understanding of the present moment. It's important to remember though that presence is not a destination, but a journey. It's a practice we cultivate every day, in every moment. It's about learning to be here, to be now, to be fully alive and awake in each and every moment of our lives. When we are fully present, we tap into a power that transcends our physical existence. Scene Script How can we embrace the power of now in our daily lives? This question invites us to explore the practical steps we can take to cultivate presence, to truly live in the moment. Firstly, let's talk about mindfulness, a powerful tool for anchoring ourselves in the present. Mindfulness is about being completely engaged in what you're doing, without allowing your mind to wander into the past or the future. It's about savoring the taste of your morning coffee, noticing the feel of the wind on your skin, or truly listening when someone speaks to you. It's about fully experiencing every moment as it happens. To cultivate mindfulness, try setting aside a few minutes each day to focus on your breath or on the sensations in your body. Next, we need to address our thought patterns. We often get caught up in negative thoughts, worrying about the future or ruminating on the past. These thoughts can pull us out of the present and cause unnecessary stress. To disengage from these thought patterns, try observing your thoughts without judgment. Picture them as clouds passing in the sky. You don't need to interact with them or try to change them, just notice them and let them pass. With practice you'll find that you can choose not to engage with negative thoughts and instead return your focus to the present moment. Finally, it's important to apply these strategies in different life situations. Whether you're at work, spending time with loved ones or simply going about your daily routine, try to bring your attention back to the present moment whenever you notice it drifting. It's not always easy, but with practice it becomes more natural. Remember embracing the power of now doesn't mean ignoring the past or neglecting the future. It simply means choosing to give your full attention to the present moment, to live fully and deeply in the here and now. By practicing these techniques we can begin to experience the transformative power of the present moment. What happens when we start living in the now? This is a question that has been answered by countless individuals who have experienced the transformative power of the present moment. Many report profound changes in their lives, all stemming from the simple act of being fully present. Take for instance the story of a woman named Sarah. Sarah was a high-powered executive constantly trying to juggle the demands of her career and family. She was always planning, always thinking about the next thing, but when she discovered the power of now, she found a new way to live. Instead of rushing through life she began to slow down, to savor each moment. She found joy in the simple things, like a shared laugh with her children or a quiet moment of solitude. By embracing the present she found a sense of peace she had never known before. And then there's John, a man who had spent much of his life worrying about the future. His mind was a constant whirlwind of, what ifs. But when he began to live in the now, that whirlwind quieted. He learned to appreciate the beauty of the present, to find contentment in the here and now. His anxiety lessened, his stress levels dropped, and he found himself happier and more at peace than he had been in years. These are just two examples among countless stories of people who have experienced the transformative potential of living in the present. They show us that the power of now is not simply about existing in the present moment, but about truly experiencing it, about immersing ourselves in the richness and depth it offers. It's about finding joy, peace and fulfillment in the simplicity of being. The power of now is not just a concept or theory but a path to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. It's a journey of self-discovery, of growth, of becoming more attuned to the world around us and to the depths within us. It's a journey each of us can embark on, a journey that can transform our lives in ways we can scarcely imagine.